Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Quake 1.5 on the Nightmare difficulty setting. This is Eform 3, the Elder God Shrine. Alright, as you can see, you're greeted by two fiends. Let's deal with them by throwing two grenades like this. And then you can easily take them down with the super shotgun. And you have to hit the window to open the door behind you. And then we grab the quad. We're gonna kick some knights to death. Just for the heck of it. You can also use your shotgun if you want. And then quickly move on to kill these ogres. And these windows can walk through, but there's nothing behind it. Let's quickly move on, and we're gonna visit the graveyard. And we're gonna grab ourselves a quad, and we're gonna kick zombies to death. Although th that takes a bit of a time, uh, takes some time. So let's just use the shotgun. And when you grab the grenade launcher, it's gonna spawn even more zombies. Be even more if you grab the mega health. And there's even spiders, oh no. It's like a bad Halloween movie. And if you stand. Oh shit, never mind. I wanted to telefract the fiend. Well, I was too slow. And I think that's everything dead. Let's uh, look around a bit. Just to be sure. Yeah. The zombies are dead again. Oh, this slope really sucks. For some reason this slope is very hard to get on top to top of. Alright, now, quad. Once again, we're gonna encounter a new enemy. That's it. The most hated enemy in Quick. Although I think it's a great enemy. Oh shit. Gotta be careful when you kill him. No, oh, okay. Okay. I have no words for that. There's some strange things going on here. The spider was inviting the zombie. Okay, time for some sick strafe jumping. Oh wait, first we have to deal with this thing. Okay. Where are you coming from? Look at these skills. I wanted to kick the knight into the lava. That would have been fun. Strafe jump! Oh yeah, there's gonna be fiends here. They spawn on a timer or something. Or each time a fiend dies, a new one, a new one will spawn after a while. I think there's eight in total. It's a very slow spawner. If you watch a quick speedrun, you're gonna see people here waiting a lot. Like a 100% speedrun. Alright, there's another spawn around the corner. 
I wonder if I can electric grenade on him. Okay. That was interesting. Would have been nice if I uh, got him to jump around with the grenades. Okay, there's gonna be more fiends, I hope. Yeah, there he is. Uh, let's see. I'm missing one secret. Or two, actually, and it's the other way. Usually there's red armor there, but this time Quake 1.5 decided to spawn uh, an ammo pack. Which I find less use uh, useful. Red armor is very useful. Ammo packs, not so much, unless you really want um, proximity grenades. They're not that useful. So here's the second secret. And if you lift, go up this lift. Oh, the stupid corpse is in the way. Right up the lift, then underneath there's a teleporter. And it should be a new fiend. There he is. And there should be three more. Uh, if you look below, there's uh, 112 months in total. But there's 10 scrags that do not spawn. They're supposed to spawn from the windows, but they do not. I don't know why. So now we have to wait for three fiends to spawn. And this may take a while, so. You can hear them. They're in a spawning room here. Oh, here they come. So like I said, if you're watching a 100% speedrun of Quake, you're gonna see the same situation here. People waiting for the fiends to spawn. So in the meantime, let's appreciate Sandy's uh, map design. I think this is pretty cool. Although I really think he needs to work on his uh, lighting. You've probably noticed that I've been using the flashlight for nearly uh, half the level. But maybe just maybe that's just the uh, atmosphere of episode four. Like very dark and brown. But I must say this is one of my more uh, liked episode four levels. Mainly because of the graveyard section. That's really cool designed. With the zombies rising from the graves and stuff. Yeah, here he comes. Alright, that's it. Let's finish the level. Did I go the wrong side again? Yes, I did. And another thing I like about this level is the long hallways. You can do this strafe jumping. Oh, wait, what? I forgot about the ogres. Wait, 105 out of 112. That's the most I've ever gotten. I n never got more than 102. Now I have 105. The next explain the extra scrags I saw flying around, but I don't know how I spawned them. Hmm, if you don't mind, I'm gonna do one more round, see if there's any scrags. Because they are supposed to spawn. Wait. I'm confused. They're supposed to spawn from here, and I saw... Wait. I can hear a flying monster. You hear that? I know the spawning box for the Scrags is down here. Yeah. See, they won't spawn. Yeah, you can hear the, the flying monster swings. Oh well. 
It's broken. Let's just finish the level. So yeah, the Elder God Shrine. Uh, very cool. Oh, not very cool. Pretty cool level. Uh, I ex already explained why it's cool. Uh, shame about the fiends. They are way too slow. They really drag on. And of course, there's a glitch skill count. Which sucks, but uh, yeah, come deal with it. So uh, up next is E4M4. Probably the hardest level in the game, in my opinion. And I'll see you guys then.